Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, uh, Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to dive on in and ask the Oracle and the Tarot cards today. How does this person truly feel towards you and this connection at this current time? Um, do keep in mind guys, this reading is for entertainment purposes only. So the messages coming forward may or may not resonate for you and that is totally okay. Uh, if you do enjoy the reading and if it does speak to you, by all means, feel free to let me know by leaving behind a like, a share and or subscribe here today. Uh, we are going to kick off using the Romance Angels Oracle cards. Um, and I do want to let you know that um, this reading is specific to all water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this read is for you. Okay, so you've got past life relationship here. Um, I am going to be using a few different decks as well, so stick around um, for the messages coming through. You've got past life relationship. I feel like you and this person um, already know each other. Okay, well, of course you would. Um, but I feel like this is someone that you've known for quite some time, okay? It may be someone from your past. It may be an ex, okay? Uh, for, for those of you who are done with the exes, I feel like uh, this person is someone that you feel very comfortable with. Um, it's like you've known them forever and ever and ever and you feel so comfortable around them and uh, you feel really safe around them. And it says here, it is safe for you to love. Like you just feel very familiar and comfortable around each other. And this is how this person really feels. They feel really comfortable with you. Okay, they just feel like that when you're when they're in your company, they can just be their true self with you. And maybe they haven't felt this way in other connections that they've had or other relationships that they've had. Okay, yeah, maybe they've been been attracted to other people, uh, maybe they've had many other relationships, but not like how they have it with you. Okay, um, so there's something familiar. This person enjoys that, you know, when they're with you, there's a familiarity coming through and it really reminds them of themselves. Okay, so there may be some mirroring going on here for this person. You know, you might be mirroring back to this person, someone that they really are um, drawn to. And maybe they don't tell you this. Maybe they just, they're not even conscious to it. Okay. And that's why they can't express it. It says here, express your love. It is safe for you to, you're not going to believe this. I have shuffled these cards numerous amount of times and every single element has gotten these two cards. <laughs> I, can, I kid you not, right? So um, I just find it really interesting. I feel like this person wants to express something to you. Okay. I feel like this person wants to come forward and really just be romantic with you. Um, this is how they truly feel. They want to they want to express themselves to you. They want to open up to you. They want to woo you. Um, they want to be romantic with you or take you out on a romantic date. Um, they really want to open themselves up to you. Yeah, because look, this person just feels really comfortable with you. <clears throat> so we'll see what the tarot cards have to say. of you I feel like this is someone new coming in uh, this is this may be a fresh relationship or a fresh connection uh, a new beginning in a romantic chapter here for you um, and like you really just get along with each other you feel really comfortable in each other's presence and this person wants to let you know that okay they really want to open up um, because they might want to take you off the market Okay, we've got three of wands in reverse. Okay. See, this person has never been able to move on. Okay, this person wants to tell you, um, or this is how they feel, right? This person feels like they just can't move on. They just feel like they are never going to meet anybody else. Um, 
it's like you've set the bar and even if they have wandered off um and you know gone back out on the dating scene they just never have truly been able to move past this connection they haven't three of wands in reverse this person hasn't been able to move on absolutely no way no yeah if this is a new relationship this person has found something here with you they they found it there's they you know if you're meeting this person on an online dating platform they will quickly take themselves off of that platform to let you know that they're not interested in anybody else they found it here okay they're not going anywhere okay they're not looking out onto the horizon and checking out what else is out there this person knows that it's not greener on the other side they've already found it okay and if this person did wander off because they did think it was greener on the other side guess what they want to come back but they're going to have to fight for you okay this person's got you know, this person's going to have to work for you. Um, they're going to have to fight for you here with the Five of Wands. I see this as competition. Okay, so they're going to have to fight. They want this. They've got to fight for it. They feel like maybe this person does feel like there's a bit of competition here. Um, maybe they can see that, you know, there's other people that are interested in you too. <coughs> But yet we've got the four of swords here. What's that about? Like they're holding back. They might be overthinking things here. You know, uh, this is the card of reflection. Um, this person is thinking about what maybe they should do. Um, is it, this is the card of silence. I just feel like this person hasn't really told you everything that it is that you need to know. They haven't told you that they that you make them really happy here. Nine of Cups, that you're their wish, fulfillment. This person hasn't told you this. This is what they're keeping silent on. Maybe this person feels like that you won't talk to them. With the four of swords maybe they feel like oh you know my water sign won't talk to me it won't communicate with me but honestly you make this person feel really happy nine of cups this man in this card he's contented he feels jolly um you're his dream come true Okay, you're, you're his or her ideal person. That's how they truly feel. And, yeah, they won't find anybody else like you. God broke the mould when you were born. The High Priestess. Yep. This person is feels connected to you. Um, the high priestess, it's a very spiritual energy. So there's this person feels very drawn to you, very connected to you, probably can't explain it, um, isn't really conscious to what's going on here, but I do feel like this is a spiritual connection. Um, and I do feel like this person is holding something back from you. Okay. Uh, maybe they just they can't get vulnerable with you here. We've got the Empress here. I do feel like this person puts you on some kind of a pedestal, okay? Whether uh, whether you feel this or not, this is, this is what's going on with them, okay? They do see you in a really high light. Uh, the Empress is a very feminine energy. Uh, it's a very goddess-like energy, you know, teamed with the High Priestess here. This is like, this is big energy, you guys. 
Um, it's like for them, they see you as they're not going to do better than you. Then they're not going to do better than you. <clears throat> uh, this person may feel like you could be the mother of their children. You know, the Empress is a very nurturing, uh, motherly energy. So they see you as being the mother of their children. Uh, they also see you as very creative. Maybe that's what they like about you. The Empress is also very beautiful. They find you very beautiful. They find you very attractive. Uh, they love and they're drawn to your beauty and they find you mysterious as well. There, there's a soft feminine energy here that really draws this person in. They find you magnetic um, and they find you mysterious. Six of Swords. Oh, I see. Radio. So they definitely want to move things to a better position with you. They definitely want to move, you know, Six of Swords. This is Karma Waters. So, yeah, they definitely want to move this connection or this relationship into a better place. So, yeah, um, I'm seeing in this card, this woman, she's got her feet in the water. So I feel like this person's going to do something. I don't want to say that's out of their depth, but they're going to try something with you that they haven't tried before. Um, they, they just like being around you. You know, they, they've put, they find you very soothing. Uh, they really enjoy being in your company. And if there has been tension or conflict in the past, they definitely want to put it behind them. I feel like here there's some sexual tension as well. This person feels sexual tension between you and them. Okay, they very much, I'm, I'm seeing naked bodies here. Um, I'm seeing passion here. But it's like this person's got to hold themselves back. So that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this read. Um, until next time, take care.